Hello everybody, welcome back. I'm Dax, you're not, and that's a beautiful thing. Okay, so today I'm going to do a reaction video on Grace Vanderwall's Light the Sky. Love that phrasing. I'll talk about that more later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the one minute bio intro on this because AGT does such a wonderful job with it. I don't know who these people are who put these things together. But they're pretty amazing. I mean, they got a job in Hollywood or Indy or someplace. They, they could just do bios for a living. They're so good. And they, re, they really bring out Grace's personality. So we're going to watch that, react to that, and then react to the song. And then afterwards, I'm going to talk about her lyrics, um, her genius lyrics again, and just kind of parse that out a little bit. Uh, during the video, I usually stop it several times just because I get overwhelmed by grace. Um, so I'll try to stop it just a couple of times on this and then um, we'll just uh, see how it goes. So here we go with grace on light the sky. She is Grace Vanderwall. Hey, how's it going, grace? Hi. Just a year ago, I was in the marching band and like no one knew I sang and this entire experience has just been amazing, honestly. It's changed my life forever, I think. Like, ah! it feels like I'm a famous person or something. I'm not, don't worry. I love this shirt. I feel like a princess there. And there, so much challenge is in the semifinal. I was always afraid that I wasn't a good singer. We're all gonna remember when we saw Grace sing live for the first time. I never imagined I could win, but every single day I want it more and more badly, and I don't know why. I feel like I'm a flower just like going like this, and I'm more motivated every single day to write more songs. The song I'm doing tonight is just about letting yourself shine, and that's what I'm trying to do for the semifinals. I'm just trying to shine. I feel a lot of pressure just building up and I'm just trying not to explode yeah but my confidence is growing and I feel like I can do it okay before we get going on the actual video itself I just want to say to her personality her face is just so sweet her her way of being is just so gorgeous and I don't want to use vague adjectives. It's just so effervescent and brilliant. And she just, she's just right there. She's just right there with you and she wants to let herself shine. Um, I'm just blown away. I mean, I just can't take my eyes off of her face because it's just so expressive. So, all right, well, let's get going on the video then. They got nothing on us. I don't think you understand. I just want to stop it real quick. I love how she lengthens out words and she's taking her time. This is only her third performance in front of a huge audience, and she's taking her time. I don't think you understand. Let's go out and do something we'd never do. Cause I feel like I can do anything well. It's spinning and my feet off the ground when I can't stop dancing like no one's around and yeah I think we were going to shine The stars are down when they're compared to you and I And if people don't like it then they can close their eyes Cause we're not the same and we don't have to try We're brighter than fireflies we're gonna Light the sky
Okay, I'm not going to show the judge's comments this time. Um, I think last time really encapsulated it. Um, she was obviously a little bit nervous on this, but I mean, it's just, just amazing. I, I love her hair on this one. She goes with the little uh, pigtails, and um, her outfit is um, elegant but young. Really, really like that. And um, I love the way she, I just love the way she, so there's so much emotion in what she sings and how she draws things out and then comes back and then has a long, lot of fun with it and then increases the, the rhythm and she goes back and forth on rhythm. Um, and I like how she does the whole emotional thing, like, ooh, oh, oh, ooh, oh, 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 oh. And that, that sort of guttural that she does on that. Um, but it's just so, it's so emotional. Part of it, I think, for me, I think is her face. Like I was saying a little a while ago, it's so expressive, along with her voice, that it just really moves me. I mean, few singers that I can think of really just move me like that. I mean, I'm, I'm an old fan of a lot of the old um, uh, girl groups of the 1960s. I mean, I'm a big Pink Floyd, Led Zeppelin fan, but i am also got my soft side, too, like the Shirelles and others. And they're amazing, and they're like Grace. They have good lyrics, uh, great emotions, but Grace with her, with her face... It's so vulnerable that it just draws you in, brings you into the song, into her emotions and how she's feeling in that moment. So it's just a wonderful song. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how about her lyrics and how ingenious they are and it just really adds depth to everything that Grace does. I want to start just with, first of all, with the name of the song, Light the Sky. Not a light in the sky. You know, the big metaphor through the ages has been somebody, Caesar or whoever, is, you know, a light in the sky, a chariot in the sky, uh, the sun going across the sky. But Grace turns that around. She's lighting the sky. She is the sun or the moon at full moon. We are lighting the sky. And that's, that's a really interesting twist. Uh, I remember the first time I heard it, um, I, I think my brain, again, kind, kind of messed it up and said a light of the sky. But no, for Grace, it's light the sky. And um, on this one, she starts the song just a little bit early while they're still clapping. So the first time I heard it, I didn't hear stars. Stars, they got nothing on us. And I like how she does that. Stars, pause, they got nothing on us. She doesn't say, stars got nothing on us. It's not kind of in your face like that. It's stars. They got nothing on us. It's kind of, it's a fun little twist on that. And that's another thing about Grace's writing is that she's just into these twists. 
So, and of course, I've mentioned this before, but Shakespeare does that too. You you read a line in Shakespeare, and you're just like, oh, it takes it just takes your breath away. I've just never it's just I've never heard it said like that before. And Grace is really kind of a little she's a little Shakespeare. She's an itsy bitsy in this part of her life. She's an itsy bitsy cute pigtailed Shakespeare, you know. <laughs> and maybe that's overstating it a little bit because he was the best writer ever. And um, maybe I'll talk more about that someday. I'm a huge Shakespeare fan. But, and I think that's one reason actually why I like, Shake, uh, like Grace so much is she can do that. She turns words around. And then she, oh, she goes, stars, they got nothing on us. I don't think you understand. This is another aspect of Grace's personality. Like, you know, she'll say, babe, sometimes in, in her songs. And that's what parents say, uh, or adults say. They, they talk that way. Hey, babe, you know. And th but she says, I don't think you understand. That's very sort of adulty. And, of course, her, the way she sings is, you know, so many people have commented through the, the last couple of years how about, about Grace is beyond her years. Well, she is beyond her years. And when she says, I don't think you understand, it's such an authoritative way of saying that. In a nice way, but authorita authoritative way. And then, but right after she says, I don't think you understand, she just gets into that little twinkly, let's go out and do something we'd never do. And then, because I feel like I can do anything when. So you're expecting when, but she stops that, goes in a different direction, starts talking about her head spinning. My head is spinning and my feet off the ground, and then the pace picks up. And this is, she goes from contemplation, stars, they got nothing on us, I don't think you understand, picks it up a little bit, let's go out and do something we'd never do. And then the whole, my, my head is spinning, my feet off the ground, and that's her personality, contemplative, moving into a little bit of joy, and then bam, my head is spinning. And so, um, and yeah, I think we were born to shine. Uh, and then again, content, contemplative, because the stars, because the stars are dull when they're compared to you and I. And then, of course, the full emotions later on with ooh, ah, ah, ooh, ah, 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 ooh, oh, oh, oh. Um, and then um, I, th I was wondering on this song if she, again, is sort of addressing it to her sister or somebody else she loves. Because, um, you know, she says, she goes into you and me, we stand out in the crowd of the, we stand out of the crowd. Because we aren't afraid to let our light out. And that is grace summed up right there. She is not afraid to let her light out. It's like this girl is comfortable in her own skin. I mean, how many 12-year-olds are comfortable in their own skin? Uh, my daughter and I have talked many. My daughter just turned 16. And... She and I have talked several times about the tough ages are the tweens, you know, uh, 10, 11, 12. And the easy age is eight, you know, free spirited. 13 is teenage years and everything else. But 10, 11, 12, it's like, who, who am I exactly? What's going on here? And yeah, grace is, that's a big aspect of grace, but she addresses it so confidently. And... Um, but she's so comfortable with herself and so comfortable with expressing herself and so vulnerable about that. And that's, that's what makes her unique, really, is her ability to do that and do it so sweetly. Saying big things sweetly is grace, and that's so unusual for anybody, much less somebody her age. Um, so I like the way she goes, so trust in me and just have no doubt. 
Cause we aren't afraid to let our light out. Cause we'll be tearing through the clouds. I love that. <laughs> and I could just see grace tearing through the clouds. Um, so anyway, uh, that's really, I wanted to go into all on her lyrics, just the way she turns phrases and, um, really almost like catches, catches your breath because of the, the way she says it. Um, so I guess the, the thing with this song, it's the third song that I think most of us heard, obviously, um, after I don't know my name and beautiful thing. Um, and I think at this point with grace, I remember then, and, and even now going back over this, it, this solidified for me that she's a talent, that she's a wonder and that she could write. And I could not wait for her last one. Uh, didn't know it would be clay at the time, but her last one that I'll be reviewing next is the best one. And I didn't think at the time, I didn't think that was possible. I didn't think she could outdo beautiful thing and light the sky. And I don't know my name, but she just keeps getting better. Her lyrics are better. Her confidence is better. Even though she's a little bit nervous, the thing about Clay, and I'll talk about it, is um, I think it was maybe Mel B who said that she was entirely comfortable on the stage. She's not quite here, even as you see in this picture. She's looking over to the side like, oh, my God, I got through that. <laughs> but you don't really get that while she's singing. I mean, I, I didn't get that. I mean, she just seems completely comfortable and vulnerable and open. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, the, it's her, her ability to present and express and her lyrics that makes her so, uh, makes her a one-off, as I said before. So uh, I appreciate y'all watching again. And I look forward to doing Clay very much. I've got a lot to say about Clay. The lyrics are metaphorical and extraordinary. So I look forward to that and appreciate all y'all's comments and the previous two very much. And uh, I'll talk to you guys, to y'all next time. Have a good one. Take care.